I'm working with a 10 inch by 48 inch board and I'm going to start by painting it with Wise Owl white primer and I'm doing a fine coat. I want to be able to see through it but I want to be able to block those knots and this is going to do the trick. This is a stencil that we have by Barn Star. It's at chocolatefancy.com. And this says welcome and it has a large sunflower. It has a small sunflower that you can use as your O. You can really do whatever you want, uh, many options with this stencil. The thing is if you wanna use the O, you need a 50 inch long board and mine is 48. So I'm gonna just be using the larger stencil. It's not a full sunflower. I wanna say it's more than half. I'm gonna start by taking my sander and just passing over my board and making sure it's nice and smooth. And I'm gonna lay down my sunflower stencil, um, probably not halfway a little less than halfway down. I'm using goldenrod and a big dabber. You can get these dabbers at the Dollar Tree. And if you notice, I'm just passing through. I am not worrying about full coverage. I just wanna get this on. I'm using very little paint. This is gonna reduce your bleed through. Remember when you're working with wood, there is channels in the wood that the paint is going to slightly go down. So you want as little paint as possible. I did pass through the dotted area very quickly with the golden rod. I went in with a little chocolate and then I went in with a little bit of black, not full coverage on any of these colors. With a very, very dry dabber, I uh, went around the edge where the golden rod is and started blending in that blackish brown um, just to give me some dimension and some shading going in. And then I went through the goldenrod one last time. Again, a very light coat. Um, we don't need to glob our paint on. This is where you're going to run into trouble. So I attached all my letters that say welcome. I did not use the sunflower with the O. Remember, we need a 50-inch long board for that. And I'm going to use a foam roller. I did put tape between all the seams of each letter. I cut my tape in half and I'm doing the same thing. I loaded my roller and I unloaded it on a piece of cardboard. Um, so I have a very dry roller and what I find is if I go in one direction and then flip to another direction and then another direction, I finally do fill in all my letters. Again, you do not want to press down with this roller or you will get bleed through. And then I go in and I connect all my letters. This is optional, is not necessary. It just depends on what look you wanna give. Now my answer to all bleed through is sanding. I'm just doing this to show you I was happy with mine, but this is after everything dried. I did pass over with an electric sander. It just gives it a distressed look, which is very forgiving. And now I'm covering with one hour enamel clear. You could do the varnish, the Wise Owl varnish as well. You wanna do three coats and now wait 30 days before you put it outside. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com.